Hello, I'm Mark Brickell and I'm here to show you progress that I'm making on my homemade solar collector, garden shade, and yard art project. Um, and here it is. This is the collector itself. And uh, it's been working for a few months. It has made about 400 kilowatt hours of power in about three months. So it's doing pretty well, but the latest thing I'm doing is I'm automating it. I'm putting tracking equipment on it. And as you can see, that little dome thing right there, that's the sensor for the electronics. Um, and I only have one actuator working. So right now it's just working in the, the north-south uh, vertical axis. I'm still waiting on my equipment uh, my other linear actuator for the horizontal axis but it's good to know that the vertical axis is working and I, let's see if i can get a good three good good view of this thing so you can basically see what's happening there um let's see uh this controller lets me automate this so i can uh let's see move this thing lower and you can see it moving down or I can uh, move this thing upward now keep in mind that right now that this is being powered by sunlight so the the actual solar power that I'm collecting is making this work and uh, one of the things I hope to do after I get everything working is make a modification to the electronics and have a, a wind sensor and a night sensor on it with a small battery pack so that uh, at nighttime it can or under windy conditions it can go into what I call a safe mode and uh, turn the collector up uh, completely horizontal parallel to the ground with the idea that that's going to give it the most wind protection in that orientation so every night or under windy conditions it's going to go all the way up like it's doing right now. So I'm winding the thing all the way up to the, the maximum horizontal position. And it should be there in a second. And let me step back here and show you what that looks like. I get up on my deck here. And there, there it is in the horizontal position. Now... The, the electronics has already decided that uh, that's the wrong position so it's now moving back to the uh, correct alignment automatically and I'll just film that now the, the thing about this collector is it's just a cool project um, what I've done is create the ultimate in simplicity of design um, it's basically a, a two inch pipe going vertical. It goes into a T, goes out horizontal. Looks like on this first attempt, it hasn't quite aligned perfectly with uh, where it should be. Well, maybe it is, maybe the sun is that high in the sky now. Yeah, we'll see what happens in five minutes. The, I, I noticed that the, the alignment isn't exactly perfect under all kinds of conditions, but the thing about the solar is, is if it gets it, you know pretty close I'm gonna get near a hundred percent of or, or near near the sweet spot for perfection so you know if you look at the shadow the shadow is very large and that shows you that uh, you know that it's aligned with the Sun pretty close but I, I think that it, it, it can do a little bit better than that and this is my first day with the actuator in the vertical position so uh, I'll see how that works when I when I end up over time fine-tuning this um, will this collector ever pay for itself? In my case, no, because I already have a solar city system, so this is making excess power, and PG&E only pays me four cents a kilowatt hour. But the thing is, is that I'm not looking for this collector to pay for itself. I'm looking for this collector to be, it's, a, it's cool. It's a project. I just wanted to do it. It looks great in the yard. It's going to, in the later part of the day, uh, the, the shadow goes over the garden area to keep the uh, garden from overheating in the middle of the afternoon. 
and I used uh, Google SketchUp to predict where the shadow would fall so I knew exactly where to plant this baby. So anyhow, I will make another video um, in a few days when I get my other actuator and it's tracking in the in the east-west direction. Right now it's just tracking north-south. Oh, uh, the, the, the thing that makes this thing innovative is that uh, I, don't, I don't have any bearings on it. Uh, this thing is using just plain old plumbing unions that are left intentionally loose as a bearing. So, um, you know, it was kind of a side effect because originally I didn't intend to make this thing automated, but I quickly figured out that these uh, unions were acting as bearings and I thought, wow, all I got to do is stick a couple linear actuators and a, and a controller on it and I've got uh, solar tracking. So that's what I'm doing. I'm halfway there. Uh, the panel puts out 40 volts. The tracking equipment runs on 12 volts. And I found a little device made for golf carts to convert from you know, about 48 volts down to 12 volts. The, the converter will actually work anywhere from 15 to 60 volts. And um, so that gives me my 12 volts to run the electronics. And, uh, you know, so far so good.